Hi there, I welcome you to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh and we are going to see the exercise number 20. Before that, anyone who is new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel for more such contents. And once you have completed this exercise, please do mark yes. So the exercise is quite simple. You have a data table or in your Excel file, create a table as shown above in the picture. So you create a simple table name employee id phone number email city pin code country okay so here your task is how will you pull only the column names of the given table you wanted to pull only the column names of the given table so how can you do it okay so you can pause the video uh, give it a try on your own in case you need help of course you have you can watch my video so kindly do subscribe kindly do subscribe to our channel let's get started with the studio okay so first thing i have to read the data isn't it to read the data so i have created a simple excel file where i have created the column names and the data field is blank okay so my task here is to pull only the column names all the column names i have to pull what are the column names okay so how do i pull it first of all let me read it so i am using a uh, workbook activity and i am going to mention the path of the file from where it has to pull the data right and this data is there in sheet one so i mentioned sheet and i want to read the entire sheet so i can put a double quote all right and all i have to do is in the data table control plus k i have to say dt1 okay so the moment i say dt1 it is going to store read the excel file and store in the dt1 so that much understanding we have okay now how do i pull the column names okay for that all you do is use a for each activity not for each row for each activity I, I am not dealing with rows I'm, I have to deal with columns so here what I am going to do this is one of the way there are so many ways to pull it so here I am saying dt1 the data table dot there is something called the method called columns okay so if you write dt1 dot columns automatically whatever the columns are available in this data table it's going to come to this item because there are several ones i have to look through it okay now here the very important thing is type argument so generally if you are not sure what kind of a data generally it will be a system data dot data column that is the data type okay so if you are not aware so you can go with object okay I, I am keeping it as object and here you can use a message box right line whatever activities you wanted to use and here I am going to say item because it's an object I have to say two string so the object will convert it into two string okay so here the actual data type is system data dot data column okay in case you don't want to do that even you can try this way or you can also try this way I am using object at this moment and let me run it okay so if i do this what would happen whatever the columns are there okay i am not i'm using a workbook activity so i have to close that excel file right so i've closed it let's run it again So if you do a debug, you will be able to see one by one this writing name it has written, okay. Employee ID it has written. Because I am going through a debug mode. If you do not want a debug mode, you can go with the run file. So let me show you that. So the output has come something like this, right? Body executed, body closed. You don't want that. I want to use it run file. So it will com completely run through uh, the entire workflow and show the output okay so it's complete let's go to the output but you can see name employee phone number email city pin code country so everything has come properly okay so so this is one of the way if you have another way that you have done it please do mention 
all right thank you so much for watching this video we are going to come up with more exciting and interesting exercises thank you so much you guys have a wonderful day bye bye